Hi, this is Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, my dad sketched out a little picture here. Uh, this is going to be a, a distant ocean here, right there. And this is going to be some background mountains. And this will be tall grass and an old tree here. And some rocks. And I haven't painted this before, so we'll give it a try. Alright, we're going to start off today with a little bit of phthalo blue and Prussian blue. Just mix them together. And we'll come up here, start in the corners with big X's, big crisscrosses, and we'll just paint in the sky. Okay, when you're done blocking in your sky, you can take some white on the fan brush and just drop in a couple of clouds. Just using the corner of the fan brush. Now when you're finished with your clouds, you can take a clean, clean dry brush and come up here and just with tiny little circles just blend out the bottom of the cloud. Don't touch the top yet, just the bottom. And then you can fluff them just like this. Just lift them up and then blend across. Alright, now we can take the two inch brush and tap into the same sky blue color. We'll add a little white and a little bit of green. Just tap the brush. Now we'll come up here and just paint in a little ocean and then we'll just let it work down to about there. Now when you're finished with that, you can take a little blue and white with the knife and you can come up here and just put a little sparkle on the water. You don't need much, just a little. Now with the fan brush, I'm going to mix up a nice dark green color with just green and red and a little bit of blue. Load both sides of the fan brush. And we can come up here and just wiggling around with the fan brush, kind of just drop in a basic mountain shape and then just fill it in. Alright, now with the one inch brush and some yellow and green, we can come up here and just pop in some bushes. This is going to be a bush covered mountain today. It's a little different than what we normally do. Just using the corner and just tapping. Alright, when you're finished with the right side, you can jump on over to the left side. Do it the same way. Just using the corner of the brush and tapping. Now when you're finished with that, you can mix up just a, a little darker color. And we'll just put a few of these darker bushes right in here too. Still using the corner, same technique, but just a little bit darker. Alright, when you're finished with that, you can mix up a nice dark green color with green and red and black. And we'll come up here, and now we'll start laying in some foreground. This is going to be tall, grassy meadow. But right now, all we have to do is just block it in. Now when you're finished laying in all your dark color, you can take some yellow with the 2 inch brush, and some green, and you can come up here, and just start highlighting some of this grass. Alright, when you're done, Highlighting your grass, you can take some Van Dyke Brown with the knife, and you can come up here and just begin painting in an old, gnarly, dead tree. Just go right over all this background stuff. Alright, after you have your tree blocked in, you can highlight it. I'm just going into some brown and white on the knife. And we'll pull it out flat and cut across and get a little roll of paint on the knife. And we'll come up here and just touch and just let the knife run right down. Just like that. Let the paint break and it'll give you the old bark effect. And now I'm going to lighten my brown color just a little. And I can come up here 
and just sparkle a little lighter brown up in there. You don't need much, just a little. Just like that. Now with the script liner and some thin brown, we can come up here and just paint in a couple of finer limbs. Just like that. Now back to the one inch brush and some nice dark green. And we can come up here and just lightly tap in some leaves on this tree. These are nice and loose, airy leaves. Now when you're finished with that, you can go back to your light green, just the yellow and the green, and we can come up here and just put a little sparkly highlight on that. You don't need too much, just a little, and save your dark. Alright, once you're finished with your tree, you can take your knife and some brown and a little roll, and you can come up here and drop in a little rock right there. And then you can highlight with that same tree color. I might make it a little darker. You can just come in here and add a little highlight. Alright, when you're finished with that, you can go back to your brush that had the grass highlights on it and just kind of clean up the bottom of your tree and the rocks too. Just kind of set them down into the painting. Alright, now with the script liner and some thin green paint, we can come up here and just paint in some larger grass. Alright, I think we're done. I'm going to sign it. Well, I had fun. Hope you did too. I'm going to be making some more videos soon. And uh, thanks for watching.